name is elizabeth hansen and i'm the creator of equestrian pilates a functional fitness program for riders often people are asking me what they can do to help achieve a more supple leg in the saddle and one of my biggest recommendations for riders is to do something called myofascial release so in order to do these exercises you will need to have a tennis ball which you can buy at any sports goods store as well as a foam roller so you'll notice that my foam roller is black black is the hardest foam roller that you can purchase and then there's also a blue foam roller which tends to be medium hardness as well as a white one i recommend that people start out with a blue foam roller because it's of its medium hardness it's a little bit easier on the body and you can work your way up to a black one as you become more supple so we're going to start out with our calf muscles and to do this we're going to take a tennis ball and we're going to place it in between our knee and our calf now when you do this you'll probably notice that it doesn't feel that great but what we're trying to do is release the muscles in the calf muscles as well as the muscles in the back of the thigh so what you're going to do is you're going to hold this position for about 20 seconds on this particular spot after about 20 seconds you're going to move it down about another half an inch and sit back down on it now i'm not going to go through every little inch but i'm just going to tell you where you need to go so that you can do it on your own at home and then you're going to move it down again a little bit farther for the last part again you want to try about 20 seconds per spot and you're working from the top crease right here on the back of the knee down to right above the Achilles tendon. So you want to stay in the muscle area. Don't go down to the tendon because that will be uncomfortable. So we're going to go on to our second leg. We're going to put the ball in between our knee and our hip again. And we're going to sit back down on it. And again, we're going to try this for about 20 seconds. Then we're going to take it out and we're going to move it down about another half an inch and hold it for 20 seconds and work our way down the leg. So one good place to try this is at home while you're watching TV. The good thing about doing it while you're watching TV is you can distract yourself a little bit and forget that it hurts. <laughs> so after that, we're gonna work on the muscles of our lower back. So to do this, you're going to sit on your foam roller, you're gonna roll back to the back of your pelvis, and you're gonna roll back down your back till you end up almost directly behind your belly button and then you're going to roll back to your tailbone so you're going to go down to the belly button and back to the tailbone just rolling back and forth now if you find you have any kinks in any particular spots you can stop on that point and just rest into it and even do a little bit of a motion like i'm doing right now just kind of working your way into those nooks and into those crannies so you can probably spend anywhere from a minute to several minutes working on your lower back and trying to get out the spots that are ouchy. Next, we're going to go to our IT band. So our IT band is from about the top of our hip to down right above our knee. Now this spot is particularly tight in riders and causes a lot of pain in the rider after spending so much time doing our sports, we tend to get pretty tight here. So we're going to go onto our side, onto our hip. And we're going to roll back and forth on the IT band, working out the kinks. And just like you did on your back, you can stop at any spots that are particularly ouchy and kind of hold that spot and hold that position and just work your way into those nooks and crannies. The last exercise that we're going to do is we are going to roll from the outside of our hip to our butt. So we go onto our butt, we roll onto our hip. We go onto our butt, we roll onto our hip. Just working our way back and forth across the butt muscles. And again, you're gonna roll on the side of your leg and your hip maybe eight to 12 times, a little bit longer if you wanna work your way through some ouchy spots. Then we're gonna switch over to this side and do the other leg. Again, rolling up and down the leg, trying to get into those nooks and crannies, the ones that don't always feel so great. Again, we're gonna work our way from our hip to right above our knee. So between these two spots right here is where we wanna work. And then our last exercise, we're gonna roll from our hip 
onto our butt. In our hip and onto our butt. Working our way through this part of our body. And stopping on any parts that are particularly ouchy, like I've got a good spot right here, so I'll work my way on that spot as well. So that concludes my recommendations for the myofascial release. And this will help your leg muscles, your butt, your lower back. So I hope this is helpful and that you'll try these exercises out at home. Again, I recommend that people do it at least two to three times a week. And if you're experiencing a lot of chronic soreness, you want to do it every day. The good news is five to 10 minutes a day will do wonders. And I'm sure all of us can fit that into our schedule. So have a great day. And I hope you have fun doing your exercises and riding your horse.